They are called the Tripoli Brigade, a special unit of opposition forces now being trained in Libya's western mountains. Their mission to retake the capital city. We were given access to their secret base, where they're being put through urgent and intensive training. Nearly all the young men here are originally from Tripoli. Their faces are covered because their families still live there. Some were involved in the early protests against the Gaddafi regime in February. We kept on going on, going out, going out. Each time there were like arrest, killing people, rape, monk, uh, females. And he left us basically with no choice other than just to carry our weapons. We came here to defend on Tripoli to make our family, our country for, free from this, from this regime, Gaddafi regime. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a long fight, but we will not surrender. We, we will do this. Uh, it's either we win or die, and hopefully we will win, eventually. We're told that these men are the start of a pipeline of troops. Many of them were trained in Benghazi in the east. They're now in the Western Mountains, and the aim is that they'll go on to Tripoli. They're supposed to be an elite force, but like many of the opposition troops, they desperately lack weapons and ammunition. They are clearly well-disciplined and determined, but these men are untested in battle. New weapons, we were told, will soon arrive, paid for by the United Arab Emirates and Qatar. Their commanders believe Gaddafi's forces are losing the will to fight and that the time for the start of their mission could now just be days away. James Bay's Al Jazeera in the western mountains of Libya.